So you just moved, you're in a new city, you don't have any friends, you don't have a social life, the only life you have is school or work or whatever reason why you moved to the city. Maybe it's just even to have a new location and to just live in a new city. So I'm here to talk about how to create a life in a new city. experience first from moving to London by myself I also have recently just moved to Austin Texas for a new job with only knowing a very slim few people I'm gonna walk you through some actual steps that you can take to implement yourself in this new city and to create the life that you want in this new city. My name is Izzy Biscus. I do lifestyle vlogs every Thursday. I have so many vlogs available. I have my London vlogs, I have my Austin, Texas vlog, podcast style, all that. So that is all on my channel. Please like, comment, subscribe. That would really, really help out my channel and just make my dreams become a reality. Let's get right into it. Okay, first of all, moving to a new city is not as easy as people think it is. Some people just downplay it a lot or they just don't realize how hard it is to actually create a life in a new city. It's a lot of emotional turmoil. It's a lot of physical turmoil, honestly, and it is not the easiest thing ever, but we can make the transition a little smoother. I'm gonna give you some tips to make sure that you're making the most out of your move and you're creating the life you want, you're dating exactly how you wanna date in the new city, you are learning exactly what you want to, finding new places, exploring new things. It's all gonna be there for you. When you first move somewhere, give yourself a few weeks also to get into the groove. Literally just stay home as much as possible <laughs> in the very first few weeks because you're gonna be exhausted, you're gonna be tired. Number one, find a hobby outside of the main thing that you are doing. Your hobby cannot be your job. It cannot be the school you're attending. It cannot be the main reason why you moved to the new city, okay? So for instance, when I moved to Austin, Texas, my hobby that I found is bar classes. So I go and take bar classes. I personally love pure bar classes. That is a workout that I hold really dear to my heart. So I go at least three times a week to my bar classes. I make Make time for myself before my job my nine to five but I also make time for myself on the weekends it's a lot like a treat for me you know when I get to go work out because it's my time it's my selfish time to where I get to work on myself and I get to enjoy a hobby that I really love some other ideas you can go to pottery class you can find a book club outside of everything you can go on a run club a walking club whatever it is just find something outside of it where you can fully put yourself into it gets it's your head out of thinking about, I don't have any friends, I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm so lonely. It gets your head away from that and then you'll also find that you can actually find a community through that. I've met a friend through bar, so now I hang out with her every now and then. Number two, once you've settled in, remember you've given yourself some time, you are going to have the one a week rule. And what that means is that every single week, no matter if it's after your day, if it's on the weekends, you are going to go find a new spot in town. So whether that's finding a spot through a TikTok recommendation, a YouTube recommendation an article recommendation whatever it is you are going to find a new spot a week even if it's a park a bookshop a new food place dinner lunch breakfast whatever it is you're gonna find a new spot you're gonna go explore it yourself you're gonna take yourself on a date or you're gonna ask those people that you're meeting through your hobby hey do y'all want to go try this new lunch spot do you want to go walk in a park with me number three social media is your best Friend. I know that could be a little bit controversial. People have opinions on social media. Social media is bad for you. It's not good to find connections, blah, blah, blah. Moving to a new city, from my personal experience, I have met most of my dearest friends through social media. So through my YouTube, I had a few friends reach out to me when I was living in London because they saw my American Living in London vlogs. And so they reached out and they were like, hey, I'm also moving to London. I don't know anybody. Do you wanna go get coffee? Do you wanna hang out? And I was like, absolutely, let's do that. Do not be shy to reach out on social media. The worst thing that could happen is that they just don't respond or they don't see the message. That's it. Put your ego aside for a little bit and just reach out. What's gonna happen? They're either gonna 
not respond, which is totally fine, and just seeing and whatever. You don't probably don't want to be friends with that person anyways. They're going to see it and they're going to respond and just say, hey, like I'm out of town, kind of dodge you a bit, whatever. You don't want to be friends with someone like that either. But the best thing they can do is just reach out and say, hey, I would love to, let's go meet for coffee. When I moved to Austin by myself, I was scrolling on TikTok and this TikTok came across of this girl's day, my day, day in the life in Austin, Texas. So I was swiping through, I'm like, oh, this is like so relatable. She seems super cool. So I went on her Instagram, messaged her, and now we are friends. So shout out to you, Christy. I am now friends with Christy because I saw her TikTok and decided to reach out. So social media is your best friend when moving to a new city. And if you don't have social media, that's okay. I'm going to assume that most people have social media who's watching this video because you are on YouTube. But then again, social media, it's, it doesn't have to be TikTok or Instagram. It can be Facebook and it can be YouTube. So if you find someone on YouTube, reach out to them and be like, hey, do you want to go have breakfast? Do you want to go have coffee? Whatever it is. I mean, I don't think they're going to, most people are going to be nice and not say no. So my fourth piece of advice, go to the happy hours. Whether it's happy hours at work, whether it's through a brand. I know that there's sometimes these brands who host happy hours or get togethers for 20 something year olds, 30 something year olds. Just do a little bit of social media research. Go on Instagram, find these things. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of these things, but people host them. And there's a Facebook group in Austin, Texas I know where um, you can like meet girls and someone hosts dinners at different restaurants and you can go at a certain time and meet this group of people and find new people. So that is your best friend. Go to the happy hours, whether a brand's hosting them, whether your coworkers are hosting them, whether your school's hosting them, go to all these events. Say yes a lot. When you're moving to a new city, that is the golden rule. You need to say yes to so many more things than what you would normally say yes to. And when I say this, put it in perspective, like don't say yes to everything, okay? Have your limits, but it's the general rule and consensus of say yes if you get asked to go out to eat, say yes if you're getting asked to go hang out on a weekend or something like with a few coworkers, you're only gonna meet new people and really put yourself out there. If you keep saying no to all these events, you are not going to try to really put yourself in the community and create a life that you truly want in the new city. This one's gonna be focused on apartment. As you can see behind me, I actually have a new painting right up here. It's really, I think it's super cute. You might have your own place. I have my own place. I have a one bedroom, one bath. It is pretty nice because it's in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. So I get a little bit more for what I have and you can decorate it. That's the beauty of a new place, of a new space, a new move, all that. So whether you're with a bunch of roommates, whether you're by yourself, doesn't matter, you can still have the freedom of decorating your home spot in the new city. And that is very important. It's very important for you to feel really at home in your space, so prioritize that. I'm really big on prioritizing your space and decorating your space rather than putting your money anywhere else, honestly. This might not be the best advice <laughs> to give if you have a spending problem or you like to spend a lot of money, but my space is wonderful to me because I get to come home and feel at home in the area that I'm living in. Because mostly I am at home, sleeping at home, I'm you know working from home most two days out of the five days from my job. And so it's really important to me, it's, really, it's a priority. When you decorate your space, I want you to remember this mindset. Don't think of the future. In the sense of don't worry too much about having to move everything once you decorate. I run into that problem a lot. So I'm like, okay, Izzy, we can't fully decorate and fully move in because you don't know how long you're gonna be here. You don't want it to be hard to move places. You know, once your lease is up, you don't wanna have to take all of this stuff out and move to another place. I always like to think of that as a future problem. That's gonna happen later. So if you don't fully let yourself decorate and create the space that you want, you're always going to be on that limbo of this isn't my home. I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. And once you're in that limbo and you're kind of like half in, half out, you don't allow yourself to fully be present within the new city that you've moved to. I found that a lot because I was sort of waiting and holding off to decorate. I was still attached to my London experience and going back to London. I left London and then moved to Austin pretty much right away because of the job that I got, the offer. And so I was in the limbo of like, if I, if I buy more stuff, 
then it's gonna be harder for me to get back to London. And that was not the mindset that I should be in, and it's not the mindset that you should be in. You should fully allow yourself to open up to the, the situation of you being in a new city. All in all, don't think of the future. Live in the moment, live now, and create a space that makes you super comfortable with being in the new city. The next one, this is a really fun one. This is the dating one. So how do you start dating in a new city? How do you have that sort of fun? You know, how do you have the romantic relationship sort of fun? I'll tell you a little backstory. When I was in London, I was out at a bar with a few of my friends and I complimented this guy and I said to them, oh my gosh, he is so handsome, he's so cute. My friend Brooke, she was like, Izzy, you always compliment men. You don't do anything about it. You just say it, you know? She's like, I dare you to go up to that guy and tell him you think he's cute or just say hi. Just go up to him, be bold, go up to him. And so I was like, you know what, you're right. I made a pact right then and there in the pub with my friends that the next time I think a guy is super cute, which is rare, I must, I have to go up to this man and say hi. Even just say hi. I don't have to compliment him. I don't have to say, oh my gosh, I think you're so cute. You know, I don't have to put all the cards on the table, but they were like, you just need to go say hi. That was the pact I made with them. And honestly, since that day, I have upheld that pact. I have gone up to any guy that I think is really attractive and that I would be interested in. You watching this video, I want to hold you to the same pact, okay? If you think someone is very attractive and you're just really into them at a bar, you must go and say hi. You have to go and say hi. You have to be bold. You have to find the courage somehow. Now, don't get me wrong. The adrenaline is insane. Like your, your heart is pinder pattering. You know, it's so fun. Over the hill of that, it is so wonderful. The feeling is euphoric. It really is. And all the times I've done it, maybe like not every single one of them have reciprocated it. They just said, thank you. They weren't rude about it or anything, but they're like, thank you. Like, that's so kind. Hope you have a great day kept moving, you know, and that's totally fine. But recently I did that at a bar here and it's the first time I've ever done it in Austin, Texas. And I went on a few dates with the guys. So I'm telling you right now, you have to make the first move sometimes. You can make the first move. It is totally okay. It's not, it's not gonna ruin the love story. It's not gonna ruin anything, okay? You can be bold enough to make the first move. It's not, it's gonna give you stories actually. It's gonna give you experience. And if I didn't do that, who knows what would have happened. Like I probably wouldn't have been on a few dates and been kind of seeing someone, you know? You and I, we have that pact. You have, you must go and say hi to anyone you think is attractive or really cute when you're in a new city, okay? We have that pact. We're gonna call that the Izzy pact, okay? When you hear it, it's like Izzy said, when I see someone attractive, like I have to go and just say hi and compliment them. That's it. And then you never know where it's gonna lead. You never know. That's actually honestly the golden tip of moving to a new city. Even if it's a friend, like even if it's, you don't even have to be attracted to the person. It could just be a friendship, mutual, like, oh, that person seems really cool. I'm gonna go say hi and introduce myself and just say, hey, I'm new to the city. You know, you just gotta be bold. We're Let's go back to the olden days where cell phones weren't around and people actually had to approach people in real life. You know, that was a thing. That was real. That happened. And that's how people connected is because we talked to them in person. I know y'all y'all are baffled by it, but seriously, like that was a thing. My last piece of advice for y'all to really fit into the new city that you're in. When it's sunny, go to a park because you are going to notice after having the mindset and the pact of you're gonna go up to people. Because people love a park when it's sunny outside. Many, many people flock to the parks. Volleyball matches, there's gonna be bike ball game that people are playing, there's gonna be readers, picnickers, all that stuff, okay? You are gonna sit there and whether you're gonna be inspired by everything or you're gonna meet people, doesn't matter. When you're moving to a new city, it is very hard to find a new life and to create one, but I feel like all of these tips have personally, seriously helped me create a community and get to know the city that I'm in, especially one a week rule, especially the Izzy Pact that you and I have now. I really hope that these tips help you and that you're able to really enjoy the new city that you're in. I'm so excited for you. Congratulations on the move and the new journey. I really hope that you are able to create a really fun life wherever you moved and I wish the best of luck to you. I will see y'all next Thursday. Thank you again for following along and listening to all my tips. I'll catch y'all very soon. Bye y'all.